Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the House Stock Market Series. For this video we'll be going over Ford Industries. Um, closing on Friday we, we uh, see that it jumped 165% during early Friday trading. So if we if you guys look at the you know stock charts we can see that it um, jumped from 125 cents all the way up to about three dollars based that was on the news that the company acquired a leading product design and development company intelligent product solutions IPS for a material consideration comprising of cash equity and contingent earnouts um, the IPS clients include brands such as Google, Physio Control, PepsiCo, Motorola, Zebra, Charity Water. And um, for this acquisition, they were able to, one, pay approximately $1.9 million in cash. Yeah, assumed approximately $1.5 million of outstanding debt. So they paid off a total of their 1.5 million and issued a total of 401,835 shares of the company's common stock to the two owners and agreed to pay 1 million of deferred cash payments up to about 2.2 million of earnout payments based on IPS meeting certain EBITDA milestones over a three-year period. The company entered into a three-year employment agreement with uh, Mitchell Mainman and the presidents of IPS and Paul Severino, the chief uh, operating officer of IPS, and agreed to pay them each 256000 per year in order to the fund acquisition of IPS. The company issued a $1.6 million promissory note to Ford Industries corporation in consideration for a one-year loan which bears an interest of eight percent and pays monthly interest for China as an entity um, I am the CEO of forward industries uh, commented saying I am the life delighted and excited with the quiz acquisition of IPS the company is an ex excellent strategic fit for forward industries as expertise products so very bullish on this uh, recent acquisition and that um, boosted the stock all the way up to a three dollar range and fr um, what is it closing on Friday yeah around noon it jumped up significantly based on that news so Will this uh, trend hold up over a five-year window? They've, you know, they're peaking right now at the highest valuation they've ever received. Um, I would say that, you know, this would be a definitely a good stock to watch going forwards. So, um, there's a lot of volatility here, and it, lots of money can be made on the short or long side, depending on how the market reacts to this um, uh, news and acquisition and how that overall plays a uh, part in the you know business going forward so once again guys thank you for joining if you found this helpful leave a thumbs up comment you know give me suggestions on future videos that you um, might find helpful in your stock trading journey or investing journey so thank you and see you all later